the book of truth? Never mind. Do you know where the book of truth went? <sighs> I'm sorry, Albert. It's okay. We'll find it eventually. Let's not give up. We will find it eventually. I hope so. What's wrong, boy? <laughs> Guys, I think Albert saw... Uh, George saw something. Do you know where Albert's book of truth is? <laughs> Do either of you speak dragon? No. I, I'm afraid not. I thought I did, but I guess it was just my imagination again. Oh, there. Why is everyone looking so down in the dumps today? Albert lost my special copy of the Book of Truth. It was right here, but now it's gone. Oh, what a pity. Hmm. I know what you guys need. You need a break. Something to take your mind off the troubles. How about one of my jokes? No. Oh, no, no. Some Percival came up with a great one this afternoon. Knock, knock. I'm not really in the mood for a joke. Then how about a sword fighting lesson then? Oh, I don't know. Not really in the mood for that either. I have an idea. Albert, why don't I go check with the servants? See if they've seen it. Oh, and I can ask Cook. I'll ask Sir Percival and the other knights if they've seen anything. Don't worry, old buddy. We'll find it. You can just call me Sir Looks a Lot. <laughs> the book of truth and found a headache. Albert? Your grace. Yeah. What seems to be the matter? I've lost the special copy of the book of truth Eldrick gave me. Why are you so worried about something that doesn't even matter? But it does matter. I mean, with all due respect, Your Grace, the Book of Truth is the where the Knight's Code of Conduct comes from. Is that what Eldrick told you? Yes. Of course it is! He wants you to believe what he believes so that you'll be just like him and do whatever he says. But That's it's... just a book of fairy tales. But it's not. How do you know? How do you because... know that God's word is true? Because, because... Uh, look, look, I'm sorry you lost your book, but remember there are other ways to become a knight. I need you to find out where the king is going so I can plan that banquet, remember? Yes. Listen. It's been a long day, and you should get some rest. Tell Eldrick I said so. Night! I'm sorry, Cook. Cook hasn't seen it. Thanks for asking, though. I brought you an apple, and it's a real apple this time, not an onion. Thanks, but I'm not really hungry. Maybe Sir Lapslot was right. Maybe you do need a distraction. I don't know. What did you have in mind? Well, Gaten's always cheered me up. I suppose. Since you're not going to eat this apple, we can play catch with it. And every time someone catches it, we say something funny. Like, a horse dressed as a gentleman riding in a carriage pulled by people. <laughs> OK, now you stand there. OK, move over just a little bit. A little bit this way. Perfect. Ready? Sure. Here it goes. A princess kissing a frog. A bear juggling honeycombs. And he's covered in sticky honey. A uh, court jester doing a cartwheel and then crashing into a suit of armor. George being chased by a dog, being chased by a cat, being chased by a mouse. Easy boy. It's okay. It's okay. A dog dancing a jig. <laughs> Ball, except everybody's in pajamas. And instead of dancing, they have a pillow fight and feathers go everywhere! <laughs> well, I see you've cheered him up. Good job, princess. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Albert, but the servants haven't seen anything. It's okay. We'll find it eventually. 
It's been a long day. We all need to get a good night's rest. That's right. That reminds me. What time of day does a knight need to be especially on his guard? Let me guess. Night time? That's right, young man! <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <laughs> well, Albert, sleep is an important part of your training. You must get a good night to be a good knight. <laughs> guess my joke's not working. Well, anyways, I'll see you early, bright and early tomorrow, for your second day of sword training. Are you ready? You yes. better be. Night, everyone. Good night, Good night, Good night Albert. Don't Good forget your apple. Good night, Eldrick. I wonder what I'll dream about tonight. Good night, Your Majesty. <gasps> Come, my boy. Let's go get you some Wait, stuff to eat. Wait, Eldrick, can I tell you something? Of course. When I was looking for my book of truth in the courtyard, the Duchess found me. She asked me what the matter was, and I told her I was looking for my book of truth. And she said that we don't need it. It's just a book of fairy tales. She did, did she? Yes. She also said that she can speed up the process of me becoming a knight. Hmm. Then it's just as I feared. The Duchess is not on the side of good. You mean she's bad? Yes. Remember what I told you about how God cannot lie and Satan, who is the father, of, and Satan is the father of lies? The Duchess is telling you lies to undermine your training. I don't know what to believe now. You must make a decision. Either, either you can stand with God and have peace with Him, or you can stand against Him and be in Satan's side and have war with Him. Do you remember what I told you about the spiritual armor? First, there is the belt of truth. Next comes the breastplate of righteousness and the shoes of peace. The breastplate of righteousness will help you do what's right, and the shoes of peace will help you spread the gospel to people like the Duchess. Now, come on, let's go get you something to eat. Ah, oh, nothing like a long, hard day's work. My plan is coming together perfectly. I have Albert right where I want him. He'll do anything to become a knight, and he has no idea that I stole his book of truth, and I'm about to steal the crown. I just need him to find out where the king is going, and my servants will take care of everything. The king will never return, and I'll be queen before that princess can figure out what happened. I'll steal the crown before the silly princess can imagine it. Don't you dare tell any of them, buddy, or I'll come for you next. Thank you.